Hello lovely food tubers. Okay, I've got no time at all to show you this beautiful, beautiful Asian seared tuna. It's a great recipe, it's a great principle. The great thing is, it's quick. So, this is beautiful yellowfin tuna. Uh, it's totally sustainable. Uh, I'm just gonna take this little end off. See how there's these little veins here, right? I'm just gonna take a little chunk off here. Uh, and you want a nice thick chunk, and you can actually cut it into sort of like cubes. But what I wanna do is just make a little bed of sesame here. So pat the tuna all around. And the great thing about this dish is you put a little oil in uh, and a little sesame oil. Let's turn it up a little bit. And we'll go in with our tuna, just like this. So we're not trying to cook the tuna. No, 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 we don't want to cook it. Uh, we want to just sear the sesame seeds onto it. After about 20 seconds, we'll move it on like that. See what we've done? See, that's the cook side there. And every 20 seconds, we just move it around. It's going to be completely raw in the middle, completely raw. And I'm just doing the four sides, not the other two sides. So, that's done. It's that quick. Now, in that same pan, I'm going to put a little oil just to one side, okay? And I'm just going to finely slice some garlic. And I'm going to make little garlic chips. They couldn't be easier to do. Try and keep them the same thickness. If I was sensible, I would have done these first and flavoured the oil that I cooked the tuna in. Just shake that pan, see what I'm doing, just shaking it to one side. The smell is phenomenal. And as soon as they're golden, we'll take them off and they're basically going to be like little crisps, little chips. So all I simply do is pull that garlic off like that. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is a little dressing. I'm just going to make a gorgeous little dressing um, from a piece of ginger. And we're going to grate that ginger. Just a little thimble, a little teaspoon, I'll show you it. That is all we want, right? That's all we want. And then into there, we're gonna add a teaspoon of soy sauce, half a teaspoon of sesame oil. We can put in a little bit of that chopped garlic. Very, very nice. And we're just gonna mix that up. And we'll add in uh, about a teaspoon and a half of lemon juice, or you could use lime juice. And very simply, all I'm gonna do is go over to my seared tuna here and just cut it into nice centimetre slices and then we'll move this over to our plate here. I'm just going to put little bits in and around like this. We'll take a few bits of our garlic chips here and here. Just take a few lovely little leaves of coriander. Look at this guys, colourful. And this is the thing about this sort of food, we don't need much of anything. You know, we can have just a tiny bit of spring onion. Literally take one piece of chilli for every bit of tuna. And there you've got an Asian seared tuna. Whether you're using sesame seeds or just oil, a few seconds, the principles are all the same. You could do it Moroccan style, using harissa and beautiful salted lemons and gorgeous things like that. And it is very beautiful. And then I just finish it with a little olive oil and there you go. Beautiful seared tuna, Asian style. It's a bit of a fusion dish, but very, very delicious, very quick. Something a bit different. Those flavors, by the way, those Asian flavors, you know, the soy, the lemon, the chili, the ginger, you can't get it wrong. It's really good with any seared fish. Oh, and that mm, is simply delicious. Have a go. If you like this video, please like it. Comment on the comments box below if you've got any ideas. Tell us what you like or what you don't like. And also guys, if you haven't subscribed, boom, hit that subscribe button because it's free and we love you and we want to do this for you. Anyway, gotta go, bye.